Hey, thanks for stopping by today and checking out WordPress security in 2017. Now, every year at the end of the year, I like to kind of go over WordPress, see where it's been, see where it's going. Well, we've got the latest revision just released a few weeks ago. 4.7, I believe, was the revision. And is it secure? Absolutely not. It's WordPress. It's more secure than the past revisions. A lot of the, the uh, loopholes and a lot of the exploits have been plugged, but it's still not uh, completely bulletproof. And it probably won't be as long as there are uh, hackers out there and ways to exploit PHP code. So what can we do to secure our WordPress websites in 2017? Hey, first, let's go over why I'm qualified. There's probably people on the call that have no clue who I am. Well, I have a computer degree, uh, or I have a degree in computer information systems. I was at one time a senior network security engineer in Silicon Valley. I work for uh, these Fortune 5 companies like Selectron, Nokia Networks, OneSecure, and Introvert Networks. I hold, uh, hold certifications uh, as a Checkpoint Certified System Admin. I've also, um, I'm also certified in Cisco PIX, that's a firewall, and um, a number of different IDS systems, that's intrusion detection systems. I've designed networks for uh, UC Berkeley, Cal State Hayward, eBay, Providian Financial, and much more. And Getting back to WordPress, I've built over 1,500 WordPress websites, and here's the thing that I want you to take away. None have ever been hacked. I've never had my servers compromised. My, web, my websites have never been hacked. And there's not a lot of people that can say that. Now, there's a lot of people that are selling WordPress plugins. There's a lot of security plugins out there. Now, I'm going to talk about um, some of the field, and hopefully this will clarify some of the issues. And as we said here, by default, WordPress is not secure, it's insecure. So we can go out here to keeping WordPress secure, the ultimate guide here on the WP uh, MU Dev uh, blog, and that will uh, give you some insight. By the way, you have the uh, mind map. If not, make sure that you download that. It's in the right sidebar of the webinar. We can also do a security scan. So we can go to this site here, we can drop in our WordPress site, uh, click on free WordPress security scan, and it will uh, take off and, and go. Here's one of my uh, sites. Uh, this is on my dedicated server, but as you can see, uh, once I click the free WordPress uh, security check, it's gonna go through and check. Even though I've locked this WordPress site down, and it is about as secure as I can get it right now, it still has um, a couple of plugins. I mean, it's going to it shows up what's up uh, because it's taking a look at the HTML code. Now, if this plugin was not secure, I would have a problem with this site. Um, one of the things that um, I want to clarify with WordPress is most of the hacks that occur with WordPress are due to sloppy uh, code, and that is WordPress. Uh, plugins, code, and themes. Those are the two biggest culprits that cause the majority of WordPress problems. So you've just downloaded a plugin. You bought this plugin. It's it's the latest WizBang plugin. You've installed it, and guess what? It's not secure. So uh, what can you do? Well, you can go back to the developer and say, "Yeah, I ran this scan. The plugin's not secure. Can you uh, you know improve the code a little bit?" Uh, and more, more than likely, they're not going to do it. But uh, if it's a major, if it's a major uh, project like iThemes and they put out security plugins or WordFins or somebody like that, yes, they're going to change the code. But somebody that's, that's got some uh, pop-up thing or something else that's going on in WordPress and they've written a plugin for it, don't expect them to bend over backwards to give you, uh, you know, code that's tightly written and secure. They're just going to slap together some PHP, write some code, and, and sell a plugin. And that's basically how it goes. Well, should you be worried? Well, absolutely you should be worried. When you buy plugins, you should be concerned. Now, here's another uh, site that I use, iThemes. 
And this, <clears throat> excuse me, this talks about WordPress Security 101, a quick guide to locking down your site. So this will um, actually talk to you and show you what you need to do. And there's a lot of things that you need to do to lock down your site. Well, if you've known me for any length of time, you know that I try to make things as easy as possible. I hate to do extra work when there is technology out there that can solve problems for me. Here's another major problem. If your server isn't secure, then your WordPress is vulnerable. And let me tell, uh, let me just clarify this for all of you that have a shared server. If you're on Bluehost, HostGator, uh, even Namecheap, if you're on a shared server, your WordPress site is not secure. I don't care how many WordPress plugins, how tightly written those that PHP code is, it's not secure because here's the deal. If anybody on that dedicate or on that secured or shared server gets hacked, your site could be next. That's the problem with shared servers. If a, if a, an exploit happens on that server, ex basically what happens is it goes site wide. So site wide meaning it could it could go through the whole enterprise, probably not, but it's going to be contained to that one server. Well, if you're with somebody like HostGator, there's maybe a thousand sites on that one server. Every single one of those sites that has loose code on WordPress or don't have, you know, they don't have it locked down, they are subject to be hacked. So just be worried about that because this is a real threat. And I'll guarantee you that once you install a WordPress site within just a few seconds, seconds, there's going to be a bot that goes knocking on your site and it's going to do a probe to check to see how secure your site is. Well, if you have a dedicated or VPS, there's good news. You can install what's called Config Server. It's free and it installs server-side and this is uh, probably the best security firewall that I know for Linux systems. So if you if you have a dedicated server or VPS, more than likely it's running on a, 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 a Linux uh, box, Linux server. And all you have to do is just do a couple of commands here uh, and install it if it's dedicated with no management. Now, if you have management, all you have to do is tell your management company, uh, you know, who you're, who you're hosting with, like Liquid Web or, or whoever it is, say, listen, I'd like you to install con config server on my site, and they will do it. If they don't do it, then I'd start looking around for another dedicated server company. CP Hulk is pretty much installed by default on most dedicated VPS boxes. You can it's uh, right here in cPanel. It's probably in your WHM panel, and I'll go out there and I'll show you where that is. Just logging into my server. First, let's uh, show you the firewall. So here is the firewall, and it says firewall status. It's enabled and running. And you can see the threats that it's taken care of for permanent bans. And uh, basically what happens is these bots where these attacks happen. Uh, it used to be that I would get attacked hundreds of times per day. And I just tuned it to where now it's down to I've only had four permanent bans in probably the last few months, three or four months. And um, the CP Hulk is here in Security Center. It's right on the side. Uh, to get to Config Server, you have to type in Firewall or Fire, and it will go find it. CP Hulk Brute Force Protection. And you can see the blacklist management. I've got tons and tons of sites down here that are blacklisted. My history reports probably will show nothing, and it does. Uh, what You want both of these products, and they're both free. Let me tell you, they're both free. You want these on your dedicated server. And like I said at the beginning, I've never had a server ever hacked, and I've never had a WordPress site compromised. And the reason why is because I am just really, I'm OCD really about uh, WordPress security and about security in general, mainly because I'm a former network security engineer. So, you know, that's, that's my onus. So I really take security serious. And you should too, especially if you've been hacked in the past, you it's not a good feeling to go and try to get to your site and there's some hacker put some kind of 
uh, nonsense up on your site or your whole you know your whole site is completely down and gone and your files are destroyed that's uh, that's a way to really wreck your day I'm sure that uh, if you've experienced that it's it's really not a good feeling and I've been in many situations where I've had to look at uh, the C-level employee which is basically the CFO the CEO and the IT engineer the IT people uh, CTO basically chief technology officer just look at their faces after you've had a major uh, breach and uh, now you're uh, compromised and instead of just being a little inconvenient where you got to rebuild the site it's costing you millions of dollars in bad press people are fleeing your site I mean it's just it's really just just a nasty thing one of the things you want to do on VPS and uh, especially on dedicated is change your default SSH port SSH is basically secure socket how you get access to your server using a secure socket layer uh, so you're using SSH it's running on the server it, by default it's running but it usually uses port 22 you can change this very easily so you can pick another port like 2222 or 2022 or anything that's there's 60 over 65,000 sockets or ports available just pick one of them and um, I'll guarantee you that bots that are that are basically interrogating your site they're trying to find a vulnerability the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try to find SSH and they're going to hit it they're going to try to use the root password admin administrator any of those to gain access and then a password so this is a brute, brute force attack happens every single second of the day 24 by 7 365 days of the year bots are running constantly once they find a vulnerability they report back to their host that host is used more than likely a script kitty if they were just really a, a, a state-sponsored hacker like in and these countries that sponsor it, Romania, Russia, China, just a few offhand, uh, they would go after your site and, and really try to, to hammer it and steal uh, credit card information, your banking information, stuff like that. Stuff that's worth it to them. They're not going to deface your site. They're not going to put up an ugly picture and your site has been hacked by, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're actually going to go after stuff that's going to make them money. Okay. Most hosting allows you to install WordPress automatically using a script. It's either it's usually Fantastico, but there are other scripts out there. The problem with this is most hosting companies do not ha have the latest revised edition of WordPress. So you're going to be back a couple of revisions, and this is one of the, uh, the main problems with using scripts to install WordPress. It's very insecure, it's not hardened, it's open to exploits, and then somebody goes and uses, you know, stupid things like username, admin, and simple passwords like 1234, 123456, 1234568, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's what bots go after. They hit admin first, they hit administrator second, and then they go after numbers. They brute force attack it. If they get one thing, like, for instance, you've you've uh, used admin well now they have 50 percent of your security 50 percent of your security has now been compromised because they have your username all they have to do is brute force your password and once they figure that out uh, they're in and it doesn't take long with uh, some of these script kitties because they're running bots that run tens of thousands of, of people's computers that are compromised and uh, trust me this is what happens this is going you're gonna have it happen if you haven't already it's gonna happen on your WordPress site unless you take proactive a proactive stance and install some security and one security plugin ain't gonna do it as we mentioned earlier your site is constantly getting scanned okay security visor is a good site to take a look at because they will tell you what the, this is by security uh, S-U-C-U-R-I, Security uh, Net. Uh, this is a, an old 2015 um, uh, post and it talks about the uh, XSS scripting uh, compromise. And this exploit uh, really was a, a real problem because look at all these plugins that were affected. All in one SEO, Google Analytics by Yoast, all this. Now this is 2015, April 20th, 2015. All these have been fixed, but I just wanted to show you the site so you can take a look at it and see what's going on today.
Now, let's go to the next one. Okay, the latest version of WordPress is right here. And you can download it or you can download, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to pick up my product in just a minute and it's a completely secure WordPress site. It has the latest revision of WordPress on it and all you have to do is install it. All the security plugins are tuned, WordPress is tuned and it is very secure right out of the box. But if you want to do it by hand, this is the place to come to. WordPress 4.7 Vaughn uh, is set up and ready to be downloaded if you want to do this manually. A lot of people like the manual installation. Now the latest vulnerability for plugins is listed right here on WordPress plugin vulnerabilities. And as you can see, uh, this is right up to almost to date, 11-21, November 21, 2016. Post indexer has two compromises. Uh, both a SQL injection and an object injection. Uh, this WordPress plugin, downloader, real 3D flipbook, and so on and so forth. You can see all of the plugins that are uh, here's Woo custom checkout field, Woo uh, plugin or Woo themes, elegant themes. All of these have um, compromises and fairly recent Woo. Uh, WP Ultimate Exporter. Here's the, there's a Woo custom checkout field import for WooCommerce. So um, you can see if you're running these themes or you're running these plugins, you're already basically a sitting duck. All you have to do is find some hacker that scans your site, figures out what you're running. And remember, we ran the the uh, site just a minute ago, and what did it do? It found what's up. It's, what's up is not uh, compromised, but it does show up as being a plugin that's, that is basically reporting back uh, that, hey, yeah, I'm active, I'm running on this site. If there were a compromise in this, then a hacker would know it and they'd go after that exploit. They have tools and kits that get passed around on the dark net and they're going to have a way to break into your site very quickly, very easily, and you're never going to know what happened. Okay, so that's another site right here that's in the uh, mind map. And you know, auto updates are fine, but just every once in a while, take a look on those sites just to make sure that you don't see any of your themes or you don't see any of your plugins. Here's a great tip only run one theme on your site. Don't grab five themes off of like 2019, 2020, 2017, whatever that the name of it is keep your themes to a minimum one theme I run Genesis Genesis is very tight it's never had a uh, compromise that I've known of it may have in the past but I, I didn't know about it so it's all the what I know about and Genesis is very tight and that's what's on the um, very secure clone so you know just keep an idea or just keep an eye out for uh, possible compromises with themes and plugins and again just run one theme. Now here's some plugins that are out there Gateway Secure, Security Mastery, Site Guardian, Bulletproof Security. They're, none of these plugins are written by security professionals. They're written by people who write plugins. Not one of them is written by a security person. So that doesn't mean that uh, a programmer, a PHP programmer, can't make a secure plugin. They can. Site guarding is is uh, what I, is pretty good. Bulletproof security. But here's here's the problem. People buy these plugins or download the free plugins. They put it on their site and they just you know go whistling down the street because everything is fine and dandy. That's not true. One security plugin is not going to do it. You must have a security suite. Many things that are work like when I design networks for enterprise level customers, enterprise meaning 10, 15, 20, 30, 50,000 users on the wire. That's how many people worked at these companies. And we would deploy 1,000, 2,000 to 5,000 PCs in a weekend. And we'd put security on, uh, on these sites. And how we do it is we had a multitude. We had a, f a firewall solution. We had an intrusion detection system. 
we had access control lists we had all these things that were working but it was a suite of products it wasn't just we just didn't throw up any old firewall and go yeah it's it's all secure everything's fine now we're never going to have a problem not true as you see every single day big corporations supposedly that have their act together get compromised every single day that the largest hack ever just happened recently and who who did it happen to yahoo they broke in they stole a bunch of people's user information what do they say one billion records compromised something like that well who's on who's on who's the who's the you know the security people if i was cto the first piece person i'd fire was i'd fire myself because you know I, i'm obviously clueless as to security and then i'd start looking at my network security people and they'd get in line and you know I'd start firing them. I'd have to find some good security people because obviously security is lax or they, they don't have a clue what they're doing uh, at Yahoo, but uh, that's a different story. As we said earlier, one security plugin is not enough. You have to have a security suite for a total security solution, which my security suite includes about five plugins, two premium paid plugins which is iTheme Security Pro and Backup Buddy. Now I also uh, include WhatsApp, WordFence and Sync. I really like Sync. It's by um, iThemes and you can um, you can run 10 sites for free. You can manage 10 sites. I absolutely love this this plugin and let me let me show you why because it's going to go through and grab um, it's going to interrogate my sites and it's going to show me what needs to be updated here. Let, let me just uh, give you a, a real fast demonstration. Okay, so we've loaded up Sync and I have um, about 17 sites that I have listed here. And as you can see, it's going through and it's finding um, one plugin. It looks like plugin updates. It looks like one plugin right now, or one update. I don't know if that's a theme or a, a plugin or a core. Core meaning that it's the core WordPress needs updating. So these sites that have the red bar here, uh, it's it can't interrogate that site for whatever reason. It's not finding anything on that site, or there's it's not running um, uh, the plugin that will allow this to be interrogated. All right, so as we go through, we can see all, we can see iTheme Security Pro needs to be updated. WordFence needs to be updated here. WordFence again here. Uh, and then the great, I'm, just, I'm not going to do very many. I'm just going to do a few here. Um, I'm going to uncheck all of them except for, we'll just do two real fast. I'm going to update selected. And what it does is it just goes out and interrogates the site and that's how fast it updates iTheme Security Pro. That fast. Now of course I have a I have a dedicated server so it's very very quickly. I didn't want to run down however many this is, 17 I guess. Um, but that just goes to, to to show you or just illustrates how fast that the that the iTheme sync work. Now you get the, the plugin for free you can run 10 sites on it and I suggest you do it. It is so much easier to manage your WordPress sites with this plugin than it is to manually go out to each one, try to update the core, meaning update WordPress, update all of your plugins, and it's just it's just a hassle. This has saved me so much grief. I used to have well over 500 sites back a few years ago, and it was a nightmare. That's why I like to flip sites. I hated doing the management because all of them were WordPress membership sites. And I had to go into each one individually, which I never did. I just never had time for it. I just put my security suite on it, locked it down, and uh, they were safe. I never updated them. So uh, that's, you know, that's the uh, onus is on me for, uh, you know, shame on you because you're not updating your WordPress sites. I preach it. I don't do it. Um, but I use this plugin to update my sites now, and it works great. All right, the thing that I was missing. Now, I really liked my security suite, but the thing that it was missing was Cloudflare. Flare, excuse me. Cloudflare makes it so much easier to do security, especially with WordPress, and it works great for sites. Now, if we go into uh, my 
site over here which is uh, this essentially is Namecheap so this is my reseller account if we go into any of these with uh, cPanel and if you have a shared hosting you probably have a, a Cloudflare available to you right here it's under software so you can click here and you can install Cloud Cloudflare if I can say it the tongue twister Cloudflare with uh, with your security and then you can you can implement CDN optimization security and DDoS protection so basically what this means is it distributes your content around the globe on on Cloudflare servers so it's a cloud based service that basically replicates your site it's able to speed up your site because let's say someone wants to download your product or purchase your product or come to your site and they're in Europe and you live in California well your site has now been distributed on the cloud so those files are sitting on the cloud on the Cloudflare cloud and somebody in Europe clicks on your site and man your site pops up, pops up fast so not only does it serve up sites fast but it also has great security and it has DDoS protection that's one thing that I really didn't have with my security suite I was kinda lacking I, I couldn't distribute the content I, I optimized my web pages and, and my server so it was running fast so optimization was uh, was okay security was really good as I am security guy so I locked down my server I locked down my WordPress sites but the two big areas that I was lacking was I wasn't able to distribute my my uh, product on a cloud and I didn't have DDoS protection unless my server people had DDoS protection DDoS be, meaning uh, distributed denial of service so if somebody just picks on your site and they decide they're going to attack you and we've seen this recently very recently we had a an attack that was East Coast wide it basically and what they did was they uh, DDoSed the uh, the main uh, DNS servers uh, on the East Coast and the company that had the DNS servers basically just went down it took down major sites I mean major sites all across the US it was just unbelievable it was a global wipeout of major sites sites were offline for hours because they were uh, attacking the DNS and the great thing about Cloudflare is you can use their DNS now they mitigate their DNS by transferring if they have a DDoS if they perceive a DDoS is coming which you can easily do uh, doing stateful packet inspection I'm not going to get into all the firewall technology and stuff but stateful packet inspection they know exactly who's going to DDoS them or where it's coming from so they get attacked they mitigate that by moving the traffic off of that uh, that say that IP and block or that that IP block and move it to another IP and it takes place within a matter of seconds so sites aren't down sites get mitigated to the DDoS and they got to figure out where those sites went and they got to start another attack it gets to be a real hassle for the hacker and uh, I mean if they're really diligent they just keep attacking and just keep mitigating and that just keep, continues to go on not for infinity because sooner or later what happens is they figure out where the attacks are coming from and then the feds move in just like they did here recently and they took down a huge botnet the largest botnet ever and they, they just completely wiped them arrested a bunch of people took their servers offline and so that's one less threat globally okay so again back to Cloudflare you know I tried to install it a couple times it is a real uh, it's a it's a real effort to do it I never found a really clean way to install it now you have to create an account on Cloudflare it's free to create the account but then you have to go through the cPanel and install all this stuff and it just got to be a hassle so the the product that I'm that I'm going to show you today solves that and how it solves that is there's four separate plugins uh, that will allow you to to uh, install Cloudflare on your server and also install it on your WordPress sites so along with my security suite of iTheme Security uh, Pro, Backup Buddy, What's Up, WordFence, and Sync, WP Sync, you can install Cloudflare, the plugin, on your sites. Listen, guys, security doesn't get any better than this. 
it is an easy way to install Cloudflare. Yeah, it still uh, requires a little bit of technical ability. You do have to install a WordPress plugin. You have to configure it. And you have to configure your Cloudflare account, which is free again. But there's lots of video tutorials on this. And listen, this this it's not going to get any cheaper for this plugin. And when I show you what I'm going to throw in as a super bonus today, you're just going to be floored. So along with picking up the Cloudflare product, now this uh, the Cloud the Cloudflare product is by Matt Garrett. So I know Matt. Um, I've done uh, work with him in the past uh, by promoting some of his products. The guy's a stand-up guy, and he really knows uh, these security products. He's done a bunch of them. So I'm very confident in his uh, Cloudflare plugin. I've installed it. It works great. Um, and it, I think when I picked it up, it was like seven bucks. I actually bought the plugin. He didn't give it to me for free, and I brought I bought the pro version. Here's the great thing: you pick up this Cloudflare product today, and he's throwing in the developer rights for free. That's just for like less than ten bucks. It's unbelievable uh, how how well this plugin works with Cloudflare. And then I'm going to throw in my simple desktop security app. So let me show you what that is. All right, we're going to come out here to um, our security and this is my security suite product all right so here's the security so you get ultimate security checker word fence backup buddy this is a paid premium plugin this is an iTheme security pro another premium <clears throat> excuse me premium plugin that you'd have to pay for what's up analytics iThemes Sync. So that's all the plugins, and then there's a video tutorial on how to install them, getting started, and a backup buddy um, tutorials. Now, the second product is the Very Secure Clone. The Very Secure Clone has all of these plugins already in it. Now, it doesn't have Cloudflare, I didn't want to include that. I do have the developer license, but I want you to pick up the, the plugin so that you can install it and you can create your own product from this if you pick up the developer license. Well, what does that mean? That means you can take my security plugins, you can create your own code, you can include Cloudflare if you have the developer license and you can sell this product. And I'm going to make it super easy for you today because I'm going to uh, give you a website where you can do this from. And of course this includes Cloudflare. Includes the video tutorials, the plugin, SSL, Cloud Guard, and the Purge Cache plugin. I normally sell this product suite without the Cloudflare for, I've sold it from $37 up to $97. Now, here's the thing it only runs on Windows. It runs on Windows 7, all versions of 8, and version 10. Anything older than version 7, I don't do support on that. It does not work on Mac. It, uh, I've heard it's a success with par running parallels and Windows emulators like VMware par parallels. But I don't. Again, I don't support Mac installations. I don't support Linux installations. Uh, I only support Windows. But that's the plugin. So, how this how this works is you download the the uh, product. You've got it running on your desktop. And you've installed it using my setup, so it installs just like any other uh, product in Windows. And if it throws up some false positives, you know, like they will do, it will throw up a false positive in Windows. You just basically uh, give, uh, you know, come over here to, uh, I'm using Norton. Let's go to File Insight and uh, trust it. Say, yeah, it's trusted. And then uh, Norton basically stops complaining and Windows won't throw up any more uh, false positive. So now you have this uh, this uh, desktop software. So uh, Backup Buddy and iTheme Security Pro constantly rev and you have to have the developer license for that those products. If you want to spend the three to four hundred dollars it would take to get those licenses that's fine. I'd be happy to give you my affiliate link but this is the easy way to do it. For less than ten bucks, you get all of these products, including Cloudflare and uh, the uh, custom uh, website to sell these products from. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. 
and all you have to do is when I send out an email, I say backup buddy is, uh, has gone to the next rev, it's updated, iThemes is revved, it's the next version. Uh, all you have to do is fire your trusty desktop app, and download your, your plugins, and install them. It's that simple. Yeah, would it be nice to just uh, automatically install? Well, sure, that, that's the developer license, and feel free to pick that up. But this is the, the easy way to go. It's, it's very inexpensive. And I give you uh, free updates of uh, Backup Buddy and iTheme Security Pro for 12 months, for a year. All right, now for, and, and like I said, on the easy, on the very secure clone. I've already done the testing and tweaking. It's done. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you the, the product today. You're going to get the desktop product, and you get the brander. Now, with the brander, you can sell the brander because you have white label rights to the software, which means you can change that. You can sell the brander, which changes the software title, the company name, the URL for registration. You can set your own registration code and your URL. And what this does, this basically locks the software. So this is a squeezeless squeeze page. It locks the software. Someone that wants to unlock the software would have to click on the registration button once they fire the software because it's locked. So they can't get to any of the product. And then they go out to your squeeze page, you send them an email with your registration code, and now you, you basically are building your list by passing around high quality software and especially WordPress security. People love WordPress security products. So you just brand your own product. Now that, and we haven't even talked about the website yet. So the completely done for you product is includes this website right here with this neat little YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, so you get a complete copy of all of this, and let's take a look at the deals. And I'm going to throw in eight more deals, so that's a total of nine deals. So you get e easy mini memberships, you get the WordPress security suite, affiliate marketing, WP Popper Pro, cost per action basic training or CPA basic training, commission heist, uh, ClickBank page, uh, Paycheck Secrets, My Graphics Maker Software, and Twitter Marketing Basics. You can sell these products for anything that you'd like. There are nine products in this suite, and they're all on this neat little, I'll pop this guy up again here. It's a great little coupon type site. This is a Groupon type coupon type site, so you can change uh, this coding, you can change the, uh, the, um, the deal will end in or the time, countdown timer. You can make it evergreen. You can do shares on it or not. You can uh, put um, social proof there, how many people claim the deal. And here's all your, your information, WP security, hackers, WordPress gets a C. Here's an actual live botnet on one of my sites and I show how iTheme Security Pro protected it. And of course you get the Cloudflare uh, product. So all of that, including the, the website, if you pick up the super bonus, or if you pick up Cloudflare. And like I said, when, uh, when I'm talking about this, as I'm creating this video. Grab this one time off now. Oh, you wanna turn that off. So you get all these products that I've normally sold, like I said, from 37 to $97, and all of these other bonuses, List Monster, Conversion Samurai, List Segmentation Master, Operation Inbox, Supercharger Software that you can cloak your links, List Miner, my WordPress Security Suite with Cloudflare Desktop App that you just uh, saw. Here is the Rebrander product and the website, which includes WP Security Plugin Suite. All of that. And there's a webinar, and I suggest you sign up for the webinar. And I'm going to show you how to uh, basically edit the Easy Deal Builder products, and also create a. Uh, there's a whole section there on how to create software 
with this free product that makes uh, installation in WordPress environments just like the professionals do. It, it basically combines your software into a package so that anybody clicks on it, it will pop up a and walk you through an installation scenario. And I'm going to show you that. It's free software. I'm going to show you how to, to download that software and create Windows products, uh, Windows software products, very quickly, very easily. So it's 14, I think that's 14, if I counted right. 14 bonuses. And like I said, the last time I looked, uh, Cloudflare or Cloud Defender, the Cloud Defender plugin itself was actually less than 10 bucks. So if you want WordPress security and you want it cheap, I'm going to run this for a few days and then I'm going to turn it off. And no time am I going to turn this back on uh, in the next year in 2017. I'm going, to, I'm going to move the price point from what it is now up to $37 almost immediately once this offer goes away. And people pay it. So my suggestion, if you want all of this, all of these products, my desktop app with all my security plugin suite and Cloud Defender and all of the plugins that go with Cloud Defender, I jump on this right now because you're getting white label rights to my software suite and the brander. So I hope to see you on the inside. Thanks for uh, taking time out of your day to watch this WordPress security uh, overview. And again, I hope to see you on the inside and make sure all of your WordPress sites are secure. Thanks for watching.